As a band, they've had over 100 million hits on YouTube, a list of awards as long as your arm, and of course, a dedicated legion of fans. I am, of course, talking about 30 Seconds to Mars, who are back with their third album, This Is War. And did I mention, frontman happens to be Hollywood heartthrob Jared Leto. Oh, it's a tough job. Yes, we are 30 Seconds to Mars. I'm okay. Shannon, this is Jared, and that's Tomo. And that we are 60, 60 Seconds to Jet. Yeah. <laughs> videos like the music it, it's very epic sounding thanks um, is that something because of your acting as well that you always kind of want to bring in is that something that's conscious to you when you're writing the song you think it was some I actually had written on the wall of the studio uh, and I talked to these guys quite a bit about wanting this album to sound like you were listening to a film I always enjoy really so it's interesting that you point that out I love music that evokes a sense of place and time I love visual. Yeah, ever since you were a kid. You yeah. Like ever since. Yeah. yeah. So I think that was, you know, just an extension of, of just, you know, what we like as a band. We, we're interested in atmosphere yeah. and, mm -hmm. and feeling. British producer Flood was brought in to work on This Is War. Kanye West also features on one of the tracks, although Jared and Co say one man in particular was a big influence. Uh, President Obama, uh, thank you for the inspiration and, and the words. He's quite a poet. People don't know this about uh, my buddy B, as I call him, uh, but only when we're hanging out. Um, and he calls me uh, Big J, and I call him uh, Big B. We're just buddies. We're buddies. Does he get cut with the royalties then? Royalties. Who I gets mean, royalties? He, he is royalty, uh, so he doesn't get royalties. He said, you know what? Tell me, you keep it. <laughs> you keep it, kid. But jokes aside, it was touch and go whether this album would actually see the light of day. Last year, 30 Seconds to Mars were facing a $30 million lawsuit from their label, Virgin, who alleged they'd broken the terms of their original contract. That dispute has now been resolved, but not without placing a huge strain on the band. I mean, it's safe to say this record nearly killed all of us. Yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah. It was, uh, and it's funny to say that, probably seemed a bit over the top, but... But it was <laughs> it was a it was a big undertaking, and we were at war while we make while we made it. It was incredibly. I mean, when you have a thirty million dollar lawsuit looming over your head, um, there's a lot of days where it's surreal and it just does has no impact. And then, you know, sometimes where it hit you and and the weight of that was uh, very heavy. <laughs> And for all those fans, 30 Seconds to Mars have announced a UK tour for next year that will see them playing London's Wembley Arena for the first time. As for me and Jared, well, a girl can dream. How come you're not on camera? Um, well, I'm she does have the face. Yeah, you're very attractive. Very, oh, very you. beautiful. Yeah. That's great, I'll you're, keep that bit. She has a, a style <laughs> as well. A look. So she's a two-hander.